you crazy and play that beat. What's going on, good people? Uh, of course the wind has to pick up. <clears throat> it's your boy Eric Taylor, Taylor to you Astrology. Continuing my Pluto house series. This is Pluto in the seventh house. Okay? In your natal birth chart. <clears throat> There's something in my throat. So we're not talking about any other placements or what else is aligned with it. It's just Pluto in the seventh house. All right. Like always, read the description down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. We'll talk about the social media stuff later. What's Pluto? This is Hades. It's the soul, the soul's psyche, psychology, sudden events pain, trauma, crises, obsession, power, control, sex, right? Secret societies, anything hidden. Um, you can see spies, all types of stuff. Remember also Pluto is virus. Now, what is the seventh house? Come on, you should know this. You've seen a lot of my videos, I know you have. The seventh house in your natal birth chart is the descendant, okay? So here is where you deal with long-term relationships, marriage, partnerships, the marketplace, right? Sort of like the scales of justice, but also scales like for meat and rice, the marketplace, right? It's the courthouse, open enemies. This is usually the first marriage it could also be the skills of your first child right the energy of the second child but it's also contracts negotiations right you sign a contract for an apartment a house cell phone you negotiate you're dealing with sales business stuff that's all the seventh house yeah no i'm i'm trying to let them know so um oh just a couple of the famous people i know we got um the rest in power for folks first. Malcolm X, Nelson Mandela, Winnie Houston, um, Notorious B.I.G., Mr. Christopher Wallace. Um, we also have Rihanna, Big Sean, um, Kourtney Kardashian, and Barack Obama, <laughs> the president, okay? So, for you guys, this is, and remember, it can be from Cancer all the way up to Capricorn. Chances are, if you're watching this, it's probably Pluto, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, or Capricorn. You never know. Maybe you're watching this for your grandma. Maybe you're watching this for your parent. Either way, Pluto is a generational planet. Very slow moving. The orbit takes what, 246 to 250 years. These people in childhood, the first relationship or marriage you'll see is usually from your parents or someone in your family. There can be a lot of power control dynamics. And in this lifetime, this outer planet is asking you, asking your soul, how can you transmutate and transform through the pain and trauma and crises that you saw early on in life and in your life to then go from the Scorpio to the Phoenix rising, right? Kind of burns the butt when you're rising out of the ashes to then the Eagle ascending and soaring. So you'll find that a lot of these people, their parents were separated or divorced, or there was violence or power and control, uh, abuse. So, you know, I know Obama and Chris Biggie and, you know, different people, their parents were separated. You know, I don't know about all these other people and their situation. Um, or even a death, right? Kourtney Kardashian her father 
But what you'll find is that you, if you had this placement, you learned about marriage and relationships and partnerships in kind of an unhealthy way. Or there were a lot of, you know, open enemies to that. Or for you, even growing up as a young adult, a lot of these people could be very obsessive or controlling in relationships. It can, you know, make you manipulative, using sex as a weapon to control your partner or not putting your all into a relationship because you're afraid of being hurt because you, you saw the pain that comes from that deep intimacy that comes through the marriage. Now the sign will flavor it, whether it's Leo or Virgo or Libra, especially if it's Libra, you've got to learn through partnerships and relationships how to heal your, your soul and your soul psyche in this lifetime. The key for any Pluto placement and definitely in this house is to surrender some of your control, right? Don't try to have power over your partner. It's unhealthy. You want to have balance, harmony, peace, right? This is Scorpio or Sag, you know, you might be trying to manipulate or control or control their belief system or control them through economics. If it's Capricorn, Virgo, controlling them through, you know, nitpicking at them, being so critical and analytical of their every move. These people also can attract very like obsessive type um, partners in a marriage. You know, you have to be careful. This can be very unhealthy relationships unless you really kind of go through that metamorphosis to really um, learn how to trust. That's the biggest thing with Pluto. You have got to mentally be able to trust yourself, trust your partner, and ultimately trust God. You know, this is very much about surrender, let go, and let God. And you've got to completely trust to have a healthy and successful marriage. When you're dealing with power dynamics and control and, and the lack of trust and all these fears, then the worst things can and will happen. Okay? I mean, you look at just even with Whitney Houston, the control dynamics, it, it's, you know, her and Bobby. It wasn't healthy, you know? Hey, look at uh, Biggie with Little Kim and Faith Evans. Just, you know, not good. Even the control with just partnerships with Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad. So I think no matter what, we you've got to figure out <clears throat> whoever you are. And I only use these famous people just to give you a, a, an idea of what the energy is like for a person and plays out in their lives. And then, then you can reflect it back to your own life. Okay, but the main thing is <clears throat> you look through the sign and the energy of Pluto and understand what it is in this lifetime your soul needs to learn about partnerships and signing contracts and negotiating deals, about relationships or dealing with people that you know that have become open enemies, right? And how to have a healthy marriage or a healthy relationship or a healthy business partnership. And that's really gonna, gonna come through trust and not trying to control, not trying to manipulate and have power over someone not using sex as a weapon or your pain to play the eternal victim. Okay? This is a challenging place. This can lead to maybe a, a death of a spouse. It can lead to uh, sometimes more than one marriage. You know, it can lead to um, having
having a spouse become an enemy. Now that's low vibration stuff, but it can all play out that way. High vibration, you become this power couple, i.e. Barack and Michelle. You, you know, learn through your pain, like Rihanna Chris Brown, to then have a healthy relationship, hopefully, hopefully now with Rihanna and Aesop Rocky. God bless them, you wish them well. Just make sure, you know, Pluto is asking you to investigate yourself mentally and emotionally to really understand, you know, what fears you're dealing with in the subconscious mind so that you can evolve and transmutate past them. So you're not existing in pain and trauma not existing in the, the dynamics of drama and relationships. That's extremely unhealthy. You don't want that. You know, I mean, Pluto wants you to truly transmutate and transform your life. So then the love is not anything that's about power or control or obsession, that it's about trust. It's about that true magnetic connection of, of, of true partnership, that ride or die. That's what you're ascending to the ego from the scorpion to the phoenix to get to. Does that make sense to you? I hope so. The sign flavors it in terms of like how it's directing the theme of the, the, the story of the process of your transmutation, your surrendering, your learning to trust yourself, the partner and God, so that you, you don't hold on so tight, right? Now this can, you know, attract you some crazy people, some stalkers stalking you online on the internet and always watching, oh, why did you post or why did you like someone's video or you know what I mean? You can have people like that come in your life. And if they keep showing up, then that means you have more work to do. You've got to learn to trust yourself, that you can stand alone loving yourself so then you're really ready to love another in a healthy, normal, equal, balanced relationship. It's harmonious with fairness and no power struggles, no control dynamics. I mean, no marriage or relationship is perfect. You know, we all kind of have to figure out, you know, what we surrender or what we let go or what we're willing to share or whatever. It's there's sacrifice. But this is what you want to learn so you could be the highest vibration of this energy and your soul learns how to be in healthy relationships and partnerships for marriage and for business. So you become the power couple and you can do it. I can help you with my relationship coaching program or just emailing me tailored to you coaching at gmail.com to get your birth chart done. You could have in this seventh house, Juno. You could have Saturn and get married after 32, 33. You can have different things that help flavor this energy or what's opposing it in the first house. You know, if Rahu, the North Node is here, you might have two or three marriages. But this is why astrology is a map of your life and why it's so detailed and intricate it's math and science and poetry and spirituality and energy. It's beautiful. It's art. You. 
you can have healthy marriages and relationships or a marriage, hopefully no divorce. But you gotta put in the work. You gotta heal from the pain. All right, Pluto in the seventh house. So, like always, please, you know, ring the bell, ring the alarms, you know, when I come on live and all that stuff. Check out my podcast, Knowledge is Love. Try to come on Wednesdays or Thursdays. I'm trying to line up some guests for the end of April and, and May for you. Um, some heavy hitters. And, um, yeah, on Twitter, it's at Taylor2C at Big 3 Astrology. Taylor to you coaching on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook groups. Come find your boy. You understand? But uh, yeah, Pluto, you're dope. And you're transformative and powerful in the seventh house. But please learn to trust and have faith. Don't. Don't OD and obsess and be controlling and manipulated. That's not going to get you anywhere but misery. Vibrate from your heart. All right? And hit your boy up. Tailored to your coaching at gmail.com. Oh, and you know, you can book your spot now for Astrological Coffee Talk with Eric. April was another stone groove. We have a great group of people and I just love them and thank them, some loyal, loyal folks. And I know some of you couldn't make it because you were busy working and stuff, but I just, uh, I'm very thankful. And I love how it's blossoming and growing and I hope you join us May 8th, Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Only $15, Astrological Coffee Talk. All right, you can pay PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, just, Book it through TaylorGCoaching at gmail.com. I, Pluto, seventh house, siete. I'm out. The planes. That means I gotta go. Bye, Pluto, seventh house. Later. Watch out for some mysterious enemies, too. They can be open, but they can be, you know, trying to message your marriage and stuff. Push them away. Eric Taylor. Taylor, do you astrology? Peace.